it's about, I think it's about 9 o'clock in this point. Um, so, yeah, my evening was spent. We knew Piper was due soon, but she has been very calm, very relaxed, nothing going on, nothing crazy. So, last few days I've been letting her, in the afternoons, be upstairs with us. And apparently tonight that was a mistake, because she and I were hanging out at, in the living room. And I got up to go to the kitchen for a couple of minutes, and when I came back, well, let me back up. So, she was just kind of hanging out, laying in front of the couch, just being chill, being relaxed, no signs of labor, nothing going on. And so I went to the kitchen for a few minutes, and I came back, and I kind of got upset, because she wasn't on the floor anymore, but she was laying on her nice couch. And when I went to go pull her off, I noticed that she had already managed to deliver the first puppy. So, kind of figured I'd try to have all this set up, the cameras and everything down here, when the first one came. But she tricked me, and ended up having the first puppy on her couch. So we had to stay there for... I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so, until she got the umbilical cord detached and kind of got the puppy a little bit cleaned up. And after that, I was able to bring her down here with the puppy. And this is Piper's second litter. The first litter, when she first went into labor, she was very psychotic, very needy. You just knew it was happening. I mean, she was just needing to be near me, needing to be on my lap, just wanted to be held, but then acting like she was obviously um, very uncomfortable because she just wouldn't stay still. And this time it was the exact opposite. She just laid there and was very fine. Now that we have the second puppy out, she's kind of gotten into that, I don't know, maybe it's anxiety that's hitting her right now. Uh, she's not wanting to be left alone in the whelping box. Just the moments after the second puppy came out and she started cleaning it up, I got out and got the camera and got a couple of other things around and that was just bad. She was barking and yelping and pacing and so apparently I need to sit in here for a little while until she calms down. So the first one was a little boy, the second one's a little girl. I haven't weighed either of them yet. I do have the scale set up here for that. And then I also have a notepad to where I can write down, you know, times the babies were born. And I do kind of a little sketch and make some marks on it so I can kind of distinguish them. Because with them being so distinct, you know, you can usually tell black and white male, black head, black tail, white body. Make little, note, make little notes like that and you can keep track of which one's which. And if any of them are too similar, we have these little Velcro collars that I can put on them. So this was going to be the first weekend since the twins were born where I was going to be left alone. Mama Lama took the girls up to Grandma's house because her niece is graduating college tomorrow. And we knew that this was coming soon, so we knew somebody had to stay home. So <laughs> I thought I was going to have a weekend to myself of just hanging out and doing whatever I wanted. But apparently... Piper has said, I'm going to be doing puppy stuff tonight. And it looks like she's got another one coming out. Hmm. This whooping box is just not big enough for me to be in here with her. I understand the theory of having medium to small whooping boxes. But if you have clingy dogs that want to be with you, that have that kind of personality, having a bigger whelping box isn't always that bad. So you can actually be in here with them. So I'll transfer all of this into Excel at some point, but this is what I got so far. I just do a little quick sketch of the body, kind of just distinguish where its black markings are, date and time that it's born, and once the puppies have kind of nursed for a minute, I will eventually put them on the scale and weigh them. I 
think Piper has finally calmed down and figured out her role here. This is what you want the mama dogs to do. To just lay, let the puppies nurse, and not do too much shifting. This is puppy number three. Appears to be a little boy. And he is 13 ounces. Baby number four just came out. So far, the other three are doing well. That's Piper just taking care of the umbilical cord. It's usually best to just let the mama dog deal with it. Kind of like the markings on that puppy. So it's 10.15, this little puppy's just been born. This is puppy number six, born at 10.50 at night. So if you watch the ultrasound video that Mama Llama made, this was her guess. So we'll see how many more we get. I'm hoping for at least another three or four. So puppy number six. So one of the things that I meant forgot to mention that you're going to want to have on hand is lots of paper towels and a trash bag. You want them readily available and maybe even some wet wipes, not necessarily for the puppies, but for your hands for after handling them. So puppy number six is 14 ounces, good little size, and it's a girl. So 14 ounce girl. She was 14 ounces. So, again, it's a really rough sketch, but it's enough that I'm going to be able to distinguish which puppy's which. So far, they're varying enough. And she was a female. And later down the road, I'll take all of this and I'll put it in an Excel or something. And I'll also try to take a picture of the puppy, probably when they're about a week old. So I'll have an actual photo of the puppy, and then all of their weights and data. So she's working on the umbilical cord of puppy number seven. It's that one right on top. You can barely see its head behind her ear. Now you can't see it at all. Looks like number seven has a lot of black on it. And we'll just give her a few minutes to clean it. So this is puppy number eight. And it is a female, and she weighs 11 ounces. Oh, still a little one. I'm going to call that 11 ounces. Piper's going to be busy. If you can tell, she really is doing a pretty good job of keeping everybody and everything clean. There's really not a lot of mess there. It's just she's going to have to look on them pretty much all night long to get them clean. This is the 
first time I've ever done video with a litter of puppies. It's kind of interesting. We got three cameras. The one I'm talking to right now. Got the GoPro doing a time lapse from start to finish. And one of the other tricks we decided was I snagged one of the two baby monitors out of the nursery and I have it set up. So Mama Llama, even though she's three hours away, she can still pull it up on her phone and she can watch the puppies. Or when I go to bed tonight, I can just glance over and one camera will show me an empty crib because the babies are gone and the other camera will show me these puppies. So that might be another thing to look into. It's kind of more of a luxury item, but with the price of baby monitors nowadays, you can get a good video baby monitor for pretty cheap, for about $100 or a little less. And that might be something you want to invest in if you're going to do this, or if you're going to do multiple litters. Um, if you're going to do multiple litters a year, it's not a bad idea to be able to have the dog somewhere else i.e. nice warm garage with lots of heat lamps or a barn or a back bathroom or something and then if you have that camera there then whether you're watching TV or laying in bed you can just look at them and see how the mom's doing and if she's having puppies and as the puppies get older you can keep an eye on the puppies Puppy 9 was just born at 11.27 in the evening So far, I think she's the smallest one at 10 ounces. Come on, show me some life, little one. And that's puppy number 10. And was born at 11.30. So this is what a litter of puppies that range from a couple hours to a couple of minutes old look like. We have 10 puppies so far. I'm assuming we're done. I find it hard to believe that she'd have 11 or 12, but I don't know. I will probably stay down here for another hour or so. Here I am thinking I feel overwhelmed with having two babies at one time. Being responsible for ten, that's a whole other thing.
Well, it is now 1 a.m. on December 14th. The first perpy showed up at 8.30 p.m. yesterday on the 13th. So we are basically four and a half, five hours in. It's been a little while since we've had the last puppy, so I'm pretty sure she's done. I've ran her outside and let her use the bathroom, gave her a chance to get something to eat and drink before she came and laid back down with the puppies. But we are now 11 puppies in, so I think we are finally done. So with it being 1 a.m., I've set the baby monitor up, and I'm just going to go to sleep. I think most every puppy has nursed. Everybody's up next to her. She does not have 11 nipples, so this is this is a big litter for her. We're kind of a little worried about how we're going to keep 11 puppies alive. We're actually looking at the idea of talking to the neighbor and seeing about getting our hands on some goat milk if she has any to be had. But... That's why we weigh them. That's why I got the scale out. We will see how they're doing in the morning. And we will see how they're doing tomorrow evening. And if there's one or two of them that's not growing like they should, you know, weighing them will tell us that. So, they were all settled down and Piper was settled down, but now that I'm talking, we're kind of got them all riled back up again a little bit. But,. I think now that it's after 1 a.m., I'm just going to go ahead and turn the camera off and let Piper be for the night. So, she's ha she has unrestricted access to food and water. So hopefully that will encourage her to get up and move around some. Because if she gets up and moves around, then that's going to keep one of the bigger ones from latching on and just sucking her dry and not letting one of the littler ones drink. So, with a litter this size, we're going to have to make sure that we're moving her around from time to time. And we'll probably have to dictate of, okay, little one, your belly's not big enough. You get first dibs. But, 11 puppies is a pretty big litter, but we're, they're all good sizes. They're all averaging between 10 and 14 ounces, with the average weight being around the 12 ounces, so... That's where we're at tonight, so hopefully she does a good job and keeps them, gets them all nice and clean by tomorrow. She's cleaned them up a lot. The whole litter looks pretty close to being completely clean and dry at this point. So, yeah. I'm Ben with MD Triple Creek. I hope you enjoyed watching uh, us have Piper's second litter here at the house. So, good luck to you and your next projects.